Hey people, it's Larry again. Just thought I'd post a quick update before the weekend gets here. So I gotta leave town and go take care of some stuff. But as I said in the last video, I was gonna change this uh, 3000K light out, and I did. So right now I have two 6500K LED floodlights running in here, and what do you know, just as I said, you can tell by looking at the radishes, yes, they are bigger now, too, but they have turned around and stopped leaning towards the sole uh, 6500K light that was over there, and now they're turning towards the one that's directly above them. So, what do you know? Looks like I uh, guessed right, guessed, emphasizing the word guessed, uh, that they do respond to color temperatures or color spectrums, however you want to say it, very much so. So that's about all I got for the, the lights, but I have some other information that I want to share here before I cut this video off. I'm going to turn this around and maybe I can focus. Hello there. Hey, um... I've posted numerous comments on my own videos in response to other comments uh, explaining to people that I'm not a scientist and I don't try to portray myself as being the next best scientist on the scene. So with that said, uh, if you're going to come on my channel and post comments uh, and you're going to play yourself off as the next best scientist and try to give me a lesson on things that I already know, uh, such as, you know, photosynthesis. Um, as they say out here in Nebraska, uh, this ain't my first rodeo, cowboy. Uh, if, if you think that, I, you know, I'm a newbie to all this stuff, you might want to think again or take the time. Um, Google's your friend, all right? <laughs> You'll see that if you were to Google my name, you'd probably find a lot of stuff on me. Uh, showing that I have a very bad habit of debunking things, reverse engineering things, uh, really debunking junk science. And you'll see that um, I probably already know what photosynthesis is. Um, so posting comments on my videos and pasting links to things that you've read on Wikipedia or things like that, it doesn't impress me. I mean, if you want to post comments on my videos, you know, I appreciate that, but if you're going to, you know, just be a robot and paste things in there saying, well, I know all about photosynthesis and all you got to know is about chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B and um, plants only respond to light between the wavelengths of 400 nanometers and uh, 700 nanometers. Uh, not really. If you're going to talk about photosynthesis, uh, quote some other things besides the chlorophyll parts. There's four other things, four other things that you're uh, not paying attention to. So that tells me that um, the people that post stuff like that are the ones that retailers love because you're buying into the same uh, limited junk science that they want you to know so they can hopefully sell you one of their products. Whether it's a, a zip grow tower, or it's an engineered LED grow light, or good grief, it could be a number of things. But um, here, here's the facts. I'm 48 years old. Uh, my little habit of debunking things and reverse engineering things goes back to when I was in my 20s. I, the first thing that I ever debunked and reversed in, reverse engineered was uh, the surround sound thing. Um, after that, it was when the BBS scene was big, I wrote software to show people that they could put a fancy graphical user interface on top of any BBS program with, you know, without the need to buy special software. There's a number of things, and the list goes on and on. So, um, like I said, if you're going to come on my channel and post things to make yourself look like the world's, you know, next latest and greatest and best scientist on the scene, 
your comments are going to get deleted and I'm just going to ban you from the channel. My channel is all about DIY stuff without all of the unnecessary bullshit junk science. Look at it this way. You can start doing aquaponics or anything like that without knowing shit about the science and you start it and it starts working on, on its own even when you take time away to go learn the science because your curiosity, your curiosity drove you to learn the extra science um, Mother Nature is still going to take care of herself and your system is still going to keep running it doesn't matter how many things you've learned off of Wikipedia and how many links that you can you know, paste into a comment uh, Mother Nature is still going to do her job all right so that's about all I got. I'm going to post another video here next week after I get back. Uh, my plan is to put the 3000K LED back in the middle and uh, just leave it there. And Oh, another thing I'll, I'll touch on before I go here. Um, no, I have not confused color temperature with operating temperature. When I, sh when I was shining the LED or the laser thermometer on there, and I said, oh, this is interesting. The uh, cool white LED fixture is actually running cooler than the warm white one. No, I didn't confuse the, the two. I'm, all I did is prove that there is a direct relationship between color temperature and operating temperature. And you know why that is? Um, for the guy who wanted to... <laughs> who wanted to school me on uh, frequencies and, and temperatures and stuff like that. What it boils down to is this. The cool white fixture for being a 50 watt LED only pulls 46 watts. The warm white one pulled 66 watts. So uh, I think we know now why we know now why the the warm white fixture is warmer than the cool white fixture because it takes more power to create those frequencies sorry I guess the, the schooling kind of backfired there didn't it that's all everybody have a good one I'll see you next week thanks bye